So then, Joe, we're going to look again today at yep. products that make electricians' life easier. Yes. In front of me this side, I've got the standard 25 millimeter squared meter towels. Yep. What are the pinch points for electricians when we're installing those? I think every electrician's been there, haven't they? When you go to install these into a consumer unit, and however well designed, however well laid out the consumer unit is, yeah. putting your meter tails in can be a little bit of a pain. You've got quite tight bends to put in in quite tight spaces. Yeah. Uh, we've also got to think about even putting a right angle bend in is quite tricky, but when you're doing little kicks and offsets, it can be even more challenging. It can. So that's something that hopefully we can make easier for electricians. And when we were at Doncaster Cables, yep. they suggested a product that was going to make electricians life Absolutely. easier. Absolutely. Do you want to go and get it for us? It's on the table before us, Gaz. Okay. Yeah. That looks identical this side of the table yes. as it does this side of the table. And I'm glad you said that because actually that is one of the first stumbling blocks, isn't it? The product from the outside looks exactly the same. There's yeah. no visible difference between the two. It's when you get inside the product that we start to see the real difference here. Okay. Because inside the product, instead of our usual seven copper strands. Okay, yeah. We've got 19 copper strands. Oh, right. And okay. because we've got 19 copper strands, it's moving it in the direction of... <laughs> oh, no! Wow! A flexible cable, yeah? That is unbelievable. Yeah. People won't appreciate that yeah. until you pick it up. That is phenomenal. Exactly the same when we were at Doncaster, yeah. wasn't it? That we picked them up and went, oh, I can't believe this. Yeah. And that's purely because we've gone from 7 to 19. Yeah. And we're going to be installing this, obviously, observing all the usual correct bending radiuses yeah. and all that sort of stuff but it's just so much easier to work with. That feels like it's tri-rated, it's, it's that lovely, soft, isn't it? it? Yeah, it's really, really good. I think all we can do now really is, is actually replace the set in our Luden consumer yep. unit with a set of the ones with a 19 core. Yep, okay. And just so. see, you know, just have a little chat and see if they're, you know, yep. it is easier to fit. We fitted them in the first place with the seven core, yep. so let's have a good doing that. Let's do it. So guys, we've come over to our apprentice wall. This is obviously where we have our races to see who the fastest electrician in the country is. But what are we going to be doing to our consumer unit? Yeah, so we've got our Luden consumer unit here mm -hmm. and we're yeah. going to replace these tails. Yeah. Okay, there's a few points that we can perhaps get into mm -hmm. what would effectively be for our apprentices. Because we've got yeah. the Apprentice Hub now, haven't we, on their website? Absolutely, we're still keen to be educational with our content as well for the trainee viewer. So what sort of stuff will we be thinking about to do this safely, guys? got this 100 amp cut out, mm -hmm. could be 80 or it could be 60 amps, yep. and there is some issues about whether we can or can't break these seals, Joe. Yeah, absolutely. The answer to whether you can or not is it depends, and what it depends on is where in the country you are. So it depends on your regional electricity company, the people who actually own the metering equipment and the cutouts. Some have one policy and some have another. Some are quite happy for you to cut the seals, remove the fuse, do the work, and then let them know that you've done that. Yeah. And other RECs like you to inform them ahead of time do. that that needs doing. So you need to do a little bit of research and see, depending on which area you're in, what regional electricity company you are under yeah. and find out what their policy is. But of course, we always want to make sure that safety comes first. We don't want anyone getting prosecuted for being electrocuted. No. Far better to get prosecuted for removing a fuse, we think. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. However, when we do go to remove this fuse, yeah. it could be taking 100 amps. At the time I pull it out, I create a massive arc, sure. Joe. How am I going to overcome the arc that could be created on removing that fuse? So what we want to think about is the order that we disconnect things. So as you say, this is not really designed to be pulled out under load conditions. So what we do is go to our consumer unit. We would switch off all of the breakers in turn. Circuit breakers are designed to disconnect circuits under load. Yeah. We then turn off the main switch, again, which is not designed to turn off under load. No. And then finally, uh, we would uh, either switch off the well, switch in, there, yeah. in the meter, if yeah. there is one in there, I think there is one in this one. Yes. And once that's all done, then we remove the fuse. And that's the best way of guaranteeing that you've, uh, you're either removing the fuse at low or zero load. And we think that's by far the best practice yeah. to observe. Yeah? Yeah, so absolutely. individual breakers, main switch, yeah. fully off load then we believe, and then remove the actual cutout itself For sure. after permission's been granted. Yeah. So now then, Joe, we're going to replace these tails. We know yep. that they were quite tricky to put them in because they were the seven yep. core variety yes. when we installed Remember them. Remember that day we had sweating <laughs> over these? That was fun. Plenty of uh, knuckle skin removed during yes. that process. We also understand that it's highly unlikely the electrician is going to have permission to actually make the final connections to the meter. Yep. So, but we have because this is obviously a training rig. So we're going to drop these two out, the line of neutral, out of the tails, and we're going to replace them with the 19 cores in the next stage. Sure. So we'll bring the camera in and we'll get on with it. Okay then Gary, so we've safely isolated this consumer unit now. It's probably at this stage in the process we confess that there is absolutely no chance of an electric shock from this because the armoured cable that goes into the bottom of the cutout goes absolutely nowhere. In real life, that fuse would have been taken out and we'd have a device in there preventing uh, 
the fuse being put back in yeah. and also to prevent contact with live parts. But at this stage, in our particular circumstance, I think we're pretty safe. So we'll, uh, we'll make a start on seeing how easy this cable is to install. I've wrestled out the uh, line and neutral tail and I'm going to insert the line one into the back of the whisker gland and just, just show you how easy it is obviously to pull it in just, just to make a few bends. I think actually terminating the ends of the actual tails themselves will be no benefit to anyone because they're identical. Okay, sure. So I think it's actually how you believe I'm going to pass this through and shape it in order that I get my line in here and my line in there. So I'm going to the back of the whisker gland. I think you should have a go after me, Joe, okay. attempting the neutral. So, so you're doing the, the easy line there, leaving no, the tricky no, neutral for it, me. Yeah. It's, it's, it's <laughs> up the back, possibly. So just take two fingers. Look at that. Yeah, just that's just, just I mean, that was effortless, wasn't it? It's a blisteringly hot day in the van, and I'm <laughs> sure that the uh, the cable is slightly more malleable for that, but that, that looked like a piece of melted chocolate yeah. bending there. So that was unbelievable. We hold that one there and just take a couple of fingers. Wow. And just make that bend there. Wow. So it's just a case really now of, of obviously removing the appropriate amount of PVC insulation, okay, in order that we can connect the conductors. But I'll probably do that off camera. I just wanted to prove to everybody how easy they are to work with just a couple of fingers, you know, easily bent. Pop that in there, pop it in the other side. That wasn't a difficult task at all, Joe. I love it. I think that's great. I'll terminate these and it'll be your turn. I look forward to it. Okay then, Joe. So I've put the line conductor in. I thought it was relatively easy, yep. as you compared to a seven core version. Also, what I liked is when I used my knife to start removing the PVC, it's jammed, packed full of French chalk. So that was right. also effortless as well. Jonathan. Nice and easy to strip, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So obviously, you had a free run at this, you know, just uh, no cables in there, really nice and easy. Now it's flooded with cables. It's absolutely jam-packed. So I've obviously got the slightly more difficult job of installing the neutral tail. So if I pop that through the whisker gland there and push that through, now again, there's no difference at this point. That's about as uh, the same as it would be for a seven core stranded cable. But just look at this. When I do this one handed, look at that. Absolutely effortless to get that bend put in there. And again, it's not made that too tight a radius. That's absolutely lovely. One thing that we did think about though, guys, when you were stripping yours, what did we note perhaps about the inner uh, strands within this now? It's 19. Yeah, now we're going up to 19 core. There's obviously going to be a little bit more care. I know a lot of people like to use their meter tail croppers, don't yep. they, in order to, to ring round and remove the PVC. I use a yep. knife, so mm -hmm. it's not an issue for me. Yep. But yeah, because they're a little bit thinner than usual, a yep. little bit more care there that yep. you don't nick into them. Yeah, just don't want to be quite as heavy handed, do you? Just want to uh, take that a little bit more gently so we don't nick the, the slightly more delicate copper. Um, but again, you know, it's not, not a big deal. Uh, so now we've got a slightly tighter sort of space to work in here. So again, let's just see how easy or difficult this is to put that bend in. Look at that. Absolutely. It's just so easy. It's, it's almost effortless. I absolutely love this 19 stranded uh, meter tail cable. I think it's fantastic. Okay, brilliant. I think you should terminate that and then we'll summarize what we think about it. Let's do it. So Joe, you've installed your neutral tail. I think there's one more thing that we should reiterate again, yep. the Apprentice Hub as well is that the newton meters of torque are actually displayed on the main switch. Yeah, right there, 2.5 newton meters, very clear above the two terminals, so we can't possibly miss that. So I'm just going to take my torque screwdriver and I'm going to set it to the required 2.5 newton meters. So I'll get that in the little window, and again on this one it goes 2.4, 2.6, so I'll get in between the two. So that's now at 2.5 newton meters. I'm going to pop in my uh, driver bit, and then I'm just going to make sure that these are indeed up to 2.5 newton meters. So give that a twist. There we go, 2.5. And that took a little bit more, yeah. So is there anything else I need to think about now, guys? I've got those talked up. Can I walk away? Not for me. Mm -hmm. uh, regardless whether it be the 19 or the 7 stranded uh, tails, yep. I like to give them a little pull, a little settle down yep. period, me especially too. with 19. Yep. I think there might be even more need to yep. do this. Just give them a little wobble. Yep. And the strands sometimes they, they sort of settle down amongst each other, don't they? They do. And that allows us to get just a little bit more of a twist on there. So just giving them a little, little wobble. And now I will just double check the torque setting. You see that one actually, there's a little bit more there. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah. That's made the difference. So oh, if you're using the 19 stranders, this is quite a good tip. Give them a wobble and that one's okay. Yeah, yeah that, that is a good tip, Joe. Yeah, makes a difference. So Joe, we've both had a chance to install one of these 19 core, yep. 25 millimeter squared tails. Absolutely. And do you believe it's gonna save electricians time? I'm not convinced it's gonna save electricians time. I don't think there's a huge amount of time saving to be had in this, but what I do believe is that it's gonna save electricians effort. 
it definitely makes your life easier in that sense. It was a lot less effort to install that. There was less difficult bending going on, uh, less banging my knuckles against the circuit breakers and stuff like that. And I think if you're working in a particularly tight space, that's going to be a real gift. It is. Um, we'd like to thank Doncaster Cables yep. for their kindly donating these towels and making us aware of the fact that we can make jobs easier for electricians. Absolutely. Thank you, Doncaster Cables.